hi, today I am renovating Tom's parents' house. They work so hard and they've not had time. And there is a lot of work to be done, so here we go. Previously they've tried to repaint their walls gray, but there's a lot of damage that's been done over the years. They have some patchy spots, cracks in the walls, lines on the walls, holes in the walls, falling out sockets, things that just have been painted a little bit incorrectly in the past, wires sticking out, as well as some dusting and tidying that really needs to be done. I began my day by prepping the room and clearing everything out. I brought these baskets so I could load things up with them and just put them in the separate space for now, making sure to put all the wires away, dusting off any surfaces that I can. Here I discovered that their TV unit was actually broken, so we're gonna get them a new one. I'm moving as much stuff as I can out of the rooms. I'm going to be painting their main room here, as well as the hallway. I'm also taking time here to kind of survey the rooms and realizing just how much work I'm about to do. <laughs> Removed all the nails and fixtures from the walls. Did a little bit of vacuuming to start out, just to make sure I could pull up as much dust as possible. Pushing the sofa off of the wall, finding the stuff under the sofa, and cleaning that as well. That's how much dust I've just pulled up. They seem to have done a lot of patch jobs, and those are great in the moment for a quick fix, but normally with a patch job, you have to undo it as well when you go to redo it later. Oh, I'm out of breath fixing the patches. Now we fill all the holes that I've made. I've pulled out so many nails and so many fixtures. This part of the wall is actually just damaged, and so I'm trying to fill the general holes of it, and then I might replaster it. The other side as well. I learned this was Tom's fault growing up. He kept hitting it with his bag. When it comes to painting, I trust myself zero when it comes to nice furniture and carpet, and so I am covering everything that I can. Before I can cover the floor, though, I am going to be sanding down the walls. And I want to make sure I can vacuum up as much dust from that as I can, but I also didn't want the dust to get into the furniture or into the TV, so those are covered for now and we sand everything. I'm a firm believer that it is really good to sand down a wall, especially one that's already been painted on, before you do a new coat of paint. It helps smooth out any lines, brush strokes, makes it a nice clean finish, especially if you filled any holes. And their walls definitely needed sanding. They've been painted several times. Some of the paint jobs were brushed on, making the wall have an uneven appearance. My timeline for this project just kept getting bigger and bigger as well because the more I was working on their house, the more I was discovering other things that needed to be done that I didn't know about. Like the amount of dust that was in their radiators and those needed to be cleaned and painted as well. However, with any big house project, things will always take longer than expected. So that's okay. After sanding the walls, I did take time to brush them all down and get as much dust off the walls and off the ground that I could. Also, just a note, while sanding, I did wear goggles, and while working with the dust, I am wearing a mask. While I was working on this section, though, someone came to the door, and their door is a little bit hard to open, so for one thing, I struggled with it. I also decided to just be known as the painter that they've hired rather than their daughter-in-law. And I wasn't kidding about the door. I did struggle to open it. I must have looked silly. I had trouble shutting the door as well, and so I slammed it on them. <laughs> And now I can finally start painting the room. The color that I've chosen is a shade of gray that is really unique in that in different lighting, it looks purple, blue, and green. It is the coolest color. My main goal was to lighten up the room though. I really want it to look brighter, more spacious, and have a really clean finish. I have taped off the walls and trim, knowing that I'm gonna go back over them later. I've also opted for a smaller roller. We have a lot of walls to cover and normally a person would go for a bigger roller. However, I like the control of a smaller one. If you can't tell, this project took a very long time. I kind of thought I was just coming in for a paint job, but by the end of it, we're on the first day and I'm just now starting the first wall. There was a lot of prep work to do and I will say with prep work, it is so worth it. It is worth it to do it right. Even though it took longer to do the fillings, taping everything off, making sure everything was securely covered, sanding everything down, making sure that there wasn't any dust in the air so that the paint would be clean, really makes all the difference with the finished product. Here I'm kind of painting in sections and again, there's just so much wall to cover. I'm also doing this video a little bit more in real time just to show you how how long this project took. Again, we are just on the first day. To talk more about the paint though, I have gone for a satin paint over a mat. Satin has a little bit of a shine to it, 
but not quite as shiny as gloss. Since it's satin, I'm also more cautious with it because it's a bit less washable. So if I do spill it, it's going to be much harder to clean up, which is why I went over the top with protecting the carpet. The main reason I chose satin though is because I wanted it to have a really nice, good finish and something that would last a long time for Tom's parents. Again, they work so hard and they've been wanting their walls painted properly for so long. And I'm just happy I managed to book a week off to do this for them because they really deserve a nice home to come home to. <laughs> it was literally near midnight by the time I got to the hallway, so I wasn't able to finish it up the first day. However, I came in the second day, I did a second coat, and I was able to remove some of the masking tape. Unfortunately, I ran into a little bit of an issue with the masking tape. Although I did the cool painting trick where you're meant to get a really clean line by painting the undercoat and then the top coat with the masking tape at the same time, there's a really cool way to do it. The way that the paint underneath worked, it was a little bit of a cheaper brand paint and the satin didn't want to stick fully to it, resulting in it chipping a little bit. And so I had to go back over by hand and fix all the trim. I kind of expected this though, so that's all right. However, the masking tape did provide a straight line for a guide, which was definitely still helpful, so that's all good. I've got three different types of white paint that I'm using here actually. One is a matte ceiling paint, one is a trim paint, and one is a high gloss wood paint for the base trim. So there is a lot of paint going on here. I also decided to carry the color over across the staircase and give a white break. And I spent the entire day just doing the trim basically and cleaning up lines, second coating, and everything else. Got to remove the masking tape and again finish up those lines and make them nice and clean and prep for the next day. On the third day, I came in and resealed all the doors, all the windows. I had stripped it of the sealant before, putting new sealant in now, and I'm doing a top coat on the base trim because the trim was actually really, really yellow and required two or three coats. And that paint takes eight hours to dry, so I just left it for the evening. That evening, Tom and I also got some new furniture pieces and put them together. Then comes the fourth day. I thought this was the final day. I was wrong. I went into their conservatory to give it a quick wipe down and I was going to do a few more things to the other room, but I thought I was mostly done. But the more I started working on the conservatory, the more I realized they needed a lot of stuff cleaned in here. When I went to open the windows, they hadn't been touched in a very long time. And where this is an outdoor room, it was starting to get mold. And so I really needed to deep clean those. They had a bit of a spider infestation and there was some damages to those walls as well. So I basically spent the entire day cleaning and wiping down that room. Tom's dad has a little workout space over here and I wanna make sure to tidy that up as well. Look at me move those weights, I'm trying so hard. <laughs> and we need to replace that fish tank and save those goldfish. Finally, 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 day five final day. Hi there, we have got a few more bits to sort out this morning and then it'll be done. <laughs> because of all the extra cleaning I needed to do the day before, I hadn't quite got to the point where I was sealing off the front door, the light fixtures, and all the other little bits that I still needed to do before Tom's dad got home. He's been away in America this whole time, which is how I've gotten away with this. <laughs> Tom's mom was aware that I've been doing this project. I probably should have said that at the start. She knows I'm doing this. I've not just gone into their house and started replacing everything without them knowing. I really should have said that at the start and not the end so that you're not worrying the whole time that I've just gone in here and just done what I wanted. They very much wanted this done and his mom was coming home every evening and seeing all the changes I had made and being very, very happy. Their new TV unit looks lovely. Got them a new lamp, new tablecloth. You can see them now. Good. Huh. Huh. We decided not to go flush with it because it actually the angle's not a 45 degree angle. It's just like slightly more, but if you put it to the side, it matches. So. And overall, I'm just really happy I was able to do this for Tom's parents. I think the room looks lovely. Previously, they had wires sticking out and lining their room, so we put in cable tidies. All the radiators have been repainted. All the dust has been removed. There was so much dust. And where his mom's asthmatic, I just can't imagine how she was coping with all of that. <laughs> it took a lot of work to get it to this point, but again, definitely worth it. Tom's dad is a little bit camera shy and wasn't feeling the best the day he came home because he just came off a long flight. So I'm not gonna show his reaction in this video. I'd rather be courteous towards him. <laughs> not show after flight Tom's dad to thousands of people. <laughs> he was very, very grateful though, which is good. <laughs> Did 
this has been my week. <laughs> So, so happy. So good. Look at the fish. <laughs> so good. I broke the other one. While moving around the weights, I tapped the side of the other fish tank and it punctured. That's how bad it was. So water was spewing and I held it with my hand and Tom had just popped out. He was just done. But he had just popped out. I couldn't get to my phone or call for help or anything. So I just sat there for 25 minutes holding the side of the glass, hoping it wasn't going to shatter. Uh, and the fish tank was dirty and right in my face and I had a good 25 minute meltdown. <laughs> that happened. Anyway, new tank, it's nice. I will see you on Wednesday next week. Bye, spice, spice, spice. Their kitchen was also in disarray, so it was a little bit of an extra clip. I cleaned their kitchen and this is what I did. There are cookies from Ikea that I got for them just as like a, hi there, you can have a snack. And they have these really cool cabinets that just hadn't been organized yet. And so I organized all of their cans for them, all the stuff. They can bake, they can cook, put that back. Got in a little sink tray, organized all their cleaning supplies for them. And every drawer has been sorted. I even got them a little spice rack, spinny spice rack. They didn't have one. It's good to have a spinny rack. Organized their pots and their pans. Spray bottles have a spot. Glasses have a spot. Everything has a spot. And I got them a little letter and pin tray. So they have places for letters and pens. Hope they like it.